So this is a Lima 34 shovel. You can see it's pretty beat up. It's a three-quarter yard machine. Sheet metal is pretty rough on this. I'm not sure how long it's been sitting. You can see through the back there. Pretty beat up. Lots of jack shafts and chains to run this machine. You can see how there's some adjustments on the chains here. Another jack shaft, and then the chain runs up the boom. This here, that's the trip for the bucket. See the little piece of angle iron there on the crowd lever. There's the serial number. You can see the tubular dipper, the rack on it. Piece of angle iron there on the crowd lever. So you get a little more leverage. Three quarter yard bucket. Decided to do a voiceover on this because the wind was pretty bad. I didn't get good audio. Sheet metal is really rough on this one. See a chain running up to the shipper shaft. Bunch of chains on this. There's the clutch to trip the bucket. Detroit 371. There's the hoist for the boom. Different than mine, mine has worm drive. Less counterweight on this too, compared to mine. Machine is mechanically complete, but said sheet metal is bad. Wouldn't mind adding it to my collection one day. Not currently for sale though. Here's a couple pictures of a restored 34 in Bowling Green. This one's cat powered. Here's a general shovel, also a three-quarter yard machine. Sitting a long time. You can see there's no access panel into the rear of the engine compartment. I think this is a Buddha six-cylinder diesel. Not sure if anybody could verify that. Kind of a quick video because I was pressed for time. So you can see on the outside of the house, there's a catwalk to go from the operator station to the engine compartment, or vice versa. This one also has a chain drive for the crowd, similar to the Lima. Operator station's pretty cramped. Kind of pressed for time making this video, so just a quick walk around on it. Maybe be able to vi revisit the machine sometime in the future here. Another view of the engine. Like I said, if anybody can identify that, it'd be pretty cool to know it's a Buddha. rear of the house. You can see general on the bottom of the counterweight. Most of the weight's inside the house.
pretty cool old machine. The broken pad right there. One day we'll revisit this. Thanks for watching.